Your, uh, the ground tracking map that we've been showing you before, Bob and Doug were in their last orbit around Earth. Uh, I, I can't remember what the number was that you, met, you quoted earlier, Dan, but they have done thousands of orbits around Earth during their two-month uh, duration on station. So it is really exciting that the line that we see on that trajectory map uh, is no longer a, you yeah. know, fully around it. They're, they're coming home. We're not, we're not seeing two lines showing what their next orbit is going to be. They are on their final orbit of planet Earth. V uh, excuse me, and the capsule together. The claw is what delivers power and telemetry and fluids, and we need to expose the heat shield. Uh, right now the trunk is blocking that, so we will jettison the trunk and we will um, then have uh, uh, allow us to maneuver into the proper attitude to perform the deorbit burn, which Dragon has performed a number of burns so far overnight uh, and this early this morning, and this will be. All right, so they're getting set up, and we should see spacecraft commander Doug Hurley making his way out of the capsule, and it looks like we've got him out. Got him seated. There we go, another thumbs up. And we've got some applause here. And as you can see in Mission Control, a standing <laughs> ovation for a job well done all around. Yeah, our, our crew members, Bob and Doug, are now safely back home on Earth, and uh, they're going to get checked out now by the NASA medical team. They're going straight into the medical quarters on board the ship. That'll be their first stop on planet Earth, and then they're going to be making their way up into a helicopter and then heading back to dry land. So uh, once they're complete, the team's going to prepare Dragon itself, uh, and they're going to begin uh, taking it back to shore. <laughs> Thank, thanks, Jim. That, I mean, after these great words that were spoken, um, I, I, I'm not sure I have much to add this, uh, from, from, you know, Bob and Doug and Jim, uh, but uh, I, I do think what, what this heralds really is fundamentally uh, a new era in space flight, a new era in space exploration. We're, we're going to go to the moon, we're going to have a base on the moon, we're going to have send people to Mars have, and, and make life multi-planetary. And I think this, this day heralds a new age of space exploration. That's what it's all about. Um, and, and this is the result of an incredible, incredible amount of work uh, from people at SpaceX, people at NASA. Hey, Kathy. <laughs> hey, this is, I mean, so much. We're, 18 years. This has been eight, 18 years to to finally fly people to, to orbit and back. And um, I mean, I really c came here because I just wanted to see Bomb Doug, to be totally frank. <laughs> it was like, oh, thank goodness. Um, I, think, I, think, I think like my, like my entire adrenaline it was just dumped, you know. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> like, thank God, you know. You know, I'm not very religious, but I prayed for this one. Um, so just once again, thanks everyone. Uh, SpaceX, NASA, FAA, every, everyone, Air Force, you know, that, that played a role in, in this, and uh, it's key suppliers um, that, that did incredible work. Thanks, thanks again, and you know, I think this is something that the whole world can take uh, some, some uh, pleasure in and, and can really look at this as an achievement of humanity. Um, and there's, you know, th these, are, these are difficult times when, you know, there's, there's not that much good news. And, and I think this is one of, those, this is one of those, those things that is universally good, no matter where you are on planet Earth, this is a good thing. And, and I hope it brightens your day. Thank you.